How you doing, everybody? It's time for another edition of Project These Dots. How's everybody doing? Well, the election's over. Hope your guy won. If not, I'm sorry. Um, who did I vote for? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm not telling. One way or another, I'd probably get somebody showing up with a gun at my house. Um, all right, so this in, in this edition, we're going to make uh, the birdbath out of garbage picked um, items. Garbage picked in garage sale. I think I probably got about uh, two dollars, two whole dollars into it. Uh, well, maybe the resin might have cost me five bucks but um, check it out let your imaginations run wild and uh, uh, you know give it a shot it's it's quick it's easy uh, they sell the resin at Walmart for 22 bucks for the same one um, Home Depot also has uh, a half gallon of each for $69 which as I said before, I think in another, in a previous episode, that um, it was, whoa, extreme close-up. Get back. Man, that guy's a, it's very windy in Florida today. Uh, yeah, let's get to it and uh, see how this puppy turns out. I think you'll be surprised. And Deb and Pam, but Deb, You've got a nice little garden with your bench on the side there. This would look, something like this would look really neat next to the, the bench in the garden. And cool thing about it is all this stuff is free and cheap. Go to the resale store, buy all sorts of stuff. Just use your little muy bueno. <laughs> See what I did there? Use your muy bueno and uh, just start picking up stuff cheap, you know. And, and glue it together, and bam, you got a bird bath. Got a bird bath. <laughs> All right, let's get to this video. We don't want to talk too long. Garbage picking. Got some good pickings in the garbage. This could be a craft idea. I'm trying to think what I can do with it. Got this big bowl. Got this nice little platter. Got this cool lamp. Oh, sorry. Should be this way. Got these cool pictures. Got these two cool lamps. And I got these corbels. Sweet mother of pearl. This is a bonus day in the garbage picking department. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing today, Mr. D's Nuts? Well, so I went out garbage picking the other day, and I found all this glass stuff. And then I went out the next day, and I found some more stuff, which you'll probably see in another video. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make us a little bird bath for your pretty little garden. So this is just a bowl. Get yourself a a bowl, and then. Uh, and then, um, what, what is los? I think maybe we'll take this. Oh, wait, maybe we can't. I don't know. Do this, maybe. And then do this. Nah, maybe not. And then this little plate. And I think what's cool about this is different than your conventional bird bath. It's not very deep. So the water will go away really quick. So every day you just go out there when you're walking your garden in your Zen time and you just oh, fill it up a little bit with water for your birds. <coughs> Something like that. I gotta figure out a way to put this in there. I think this looks really cool. So, 
if I get this? What about this? How does that look? <laughs> All right, well, when I figure it out, we'll get started on that. All right, update. Um, on this uh, garden block that I made, everywhere that I spread that putty to fill the holes is like... I can actually scratch this white stuff off with my finger, which is the uh, polyurethane on top. So, don't do that. Do not use the Minwax hole filler, as that does not work in the long run. So, we'll see. Um, I think we're just going to have to live with the holes that pop up. If you know what I mean. Right, all right, all right, right, all right. Check it out. Can you see that? That's the uh, the resin, the resin that I used for Grandma's table. <coughs> Poured a little on there. Doop. It's a freaking stand, yo. Strong stuff. That is going to be Burbath. Burbath. Everybody say Burbath. Burbath. So now I'm going to prep. I'm going to prep the base. The base. I'm going to put these gnarly marbles on. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, four or five different kinds, so I worked out a pattern. So I'm going to glue those onto here six of these on each line this is going to be the base so first thing I got to do is I got to clean everything with alcohol and then um, I'm going to use the E6000 that's it so when I get a couple glued on I'll show you what I got well that didn't work um, what I'm gonna have to do is um, the E6000 work but but um, what I did was I put the E6000 in the syringe and I'm going to have to glue around the edge of the the gem and then put a dot of um, hot glue to stick it on there so that the hot glue holds it in place because I thought I had it somewhat level and even the slight angle the glue, the weight of the marble or glass was sliding it off so Let's try that. Well, as you can see, it did work. So the hot glue holds it in place until the E6000 cures. It says full cure, just 24 hours. So, got a dozen or so on there. So, uh, only a hundred more to go. I had some leftover uh, resin. So, I did go with the vase on top of that and I use the tape to keep it from slipping one way or the other so tomorrow should be rock hard and now I'm gonna take these red marbles and I'm going to insert them here oh yeah and as you can see I finished 184 buttons gluing those on that was fun okay so I mixed up a little bit of the resin and I busted up some of the blue buttons and I'm gonna put them up top in here and then I'm 
enquanto tu pode assim Fascinating Okay, I don't want to go too thick So that's what you're gonna end up with <laughs> Holy crumunchkins look how cool that looks Look how cool that looks so today we're going to fill this up more with blue and resin. What I'm going to do this time, though, there's a lot of super tiny, teeny air bubbles in there. This time I'm going to pour the resin in first and get rid of as many air bubbles as I can and then put the, the broken glass inside to see if that works. Um, the red balls came out good. Glued those on. Um, I'm thinking maybe I might put another round of red balls here, but then I found purple marbles. So I don't know if you can tell this, but see, this is uneven the way the resin filled in, but I thought I'm going to pour more resin around here. And then once that dries, then I'm going to place the purple marbles all the way around the bottom. And then I'll pour more resin over the top of the marbles to get them to be glued down so that when it's like this, you'll see all the purple marbles. This is going to... should have put some glass in there. Oh, well. And uh, this resin is the most awesome glue you ever want to meet in your life. I never thought of meeting a glue before. Um, as long as you have a, a level surface, awesome. And as you can see, finished the bottom on there. All right, um, today we're going to uh, mix some resin and fill the top of this vase so that it's a nice level surface because this round part is... Um, just a little bigger than the this thing here so we're gonna level that off so we're on a level playing field if you know what I mean so let's get to that shall we all right so now for the bird bath we're just going to sand this area and sand the other area that this will be affixed to and then we're going to mix a tad of resin and glue them together hopefully we will get no dripping you really don't, from what I understand you don't have to do that a lot okay I'm gonna put a little bit on here A little bit on the blue. And then we're going to have to tape it. Torch. Hopefully it won't slide. And then we're going to tape it from the top to the bottom. All right. There we go. It's all taped up, ready to go. Oh, tomorrow we'll see if she sticks.
It's freaking awesome. The vase was a dollar. This vase was free. The bottom bowl was free. The marbles I already had. This was I garbage picked. The bottom one I garbage picked. These buttons. The buttons. I stole those from my wife's uh, cookie jar she had in the house. Um, those are pretty cool. And then we have the vase. And then the blue in there looks really cool. It's very eclectic. Whatever that means. If something's really bizarre and weird, they call it eclectic. Here's a joke there. So, oh, speaking of jokes. So I was at the gas station the other day. It shows how stupid people are sometimes. This guy starts to fill up his car with gas. He's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. There's two cops standing on the corner of the building kibitzing. And I look at him as I go into the store and I'm like, you're not going to say anything to this guy? So I go into the store. I'm not kidding. I was in the store maybe three seconds and I hear this shrieking scream. I look out the window and there's the guy that was smoking at the pump. His arm's on fire and he's like doing this. And the cops rush over and they tackle him and they put the fire out. And I come walking out of the store. And they pick him up and they handcuff him and put him in the, in the cop car. And I'm like, shouldn't he be going to the hospital? And he goes, the guy goes, no, sir. He goes, you know, he broke the law and he's going to jail. I said, what law did he break? And he goes, he was waving a firearm at officers. All right. So this lovely thing is done. I'm going to put it out in the garden now. See if I can get any birds. Oh, I don't know if I showed you the top. The top is pretty. The birds will appreciate that. Um, so next time, what are we doing next time? Remember the Ohio I did? I'm going to do a couple different sizes of Africas. Um, why Africa? Um, well, hey, whether you like it or not, black lives matter, okay? I'm all for it. Uh, everybody's life matters. Um, but uh, I saw one of the girls from um, Black Panther. She was at a, a shindig and she got a uh, she had a, a an African necklace on and it was it looked really cool. I thought it was nice, so I figured, hey, let's do something like that with the rock. So I did did it. I'm gonna be doing it out of uh, petrified wood. It, it's I think it'll be pretty cool. So catch us catch us next time. And uh, as always, everybody. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless the whole you rode in on and the cavalry behind you. Um, let's make this a better world. Make somebody laugh. Um, that's what I try to do. I'm just trying to make people laugh. Uh, don't take anything I say seriously. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, if, if you can't see, I've priced everything that we've created in the back there. If you want to price on something, you can always shoot me a DM. And, um, uh, I think that's it. That's it for now. God bless everybody. Uh, take care. It's a new day. All right. Later.